Seventy-four million dollars, with a hundred and nine million dollar cap overall for next year. That is what the New York Knicks are thinking about. Uh, post trade of Kristaps Porzingis, Courtney Lee, um, Tim Hardaway Jr., and Trey Burke heading to Dallas, and the Knicks will be receiving back uh, Dennis Smith Jr., DeAndre Jordan. Wesley Matthews and two, count them two, first round draft picks. And I believe those first round draft picks are actually for uh, the 2021, which is an unprotected first round draft pick, and 2023, which is a protected first round draft pick uh, between one and ten uh, with the deal. So they're basically trying to gear themselves up to acquire uh, two max contract players uh, this upcoming summer uh, and we have notable uh, superstars or notable players heading into free agency this offseason such as Kevin Durant, uh, DeMarcus Cousins, um, Clay Thompson, Kyrie Irving, etc. Um, I mean I, I get why they did what they did is actually rather smart for them um, plus I mean Dennis Smith Jr kind of showed that he wanted to leave. Uh, I mean, that story by itself is kind of iffy. Um, he basically got pushed away from being the starter for that team, and, you know, it's basically Lucas' team, and, you know, Dennis Smith Jr. is only in his second year after having a pretty good rookie season. I'm waiting to see what's going to happen next. I, I feel like the, the bleeding hasn't stopped yet. Uh, there, there's still just so much more, and, and and I had a chance, you know, I I was thinking about it. I, I allowed myself to absorb the the situation, uh, take my like, take myself away from it for an hour or so, um, because the doc just wanted me to just go straight into it, and you know, my 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 feelings would have been on high, so I felt like it wouldn't have been as unbiased or as you know, straight down the middle had it been about, you know, five, well, four hours ago uh, when the news broke. Actually, it was a lot longer than that, but I was just getting off work as well, too. So, uh, yeah, that was probably a really bad decision there. Um, but what does that mean for the Knicks for the rest of the season? Well, obviously, they don't want to try to win any more games. They're trying to increase their probability to get a top three pick in this upcoming draft. Um, a lot of people are saying they want Zion. I personally want R.J. Barrett. Uh, Cam Reddish is pretty good. And there's some other players out there that's not a dookie uh, that can definitely make some immediate impact. But of course, Zion is the big story. But yeah, this is uh, this is tank mode right now. I mean, I, I always say I wanted to see the you know young guys get a chance to play. Well, obviously, I'd be able to uh, get the opportunity to see that for the rest of the season, um, seeing what uh, Kevin Knox can do, uh, because this is now his team, and depending on what's going to happen with Ernest Cantor, uh, I mean, it's pretty much their show now. Um, I mean, I dislike what they initially did, but now I had a chance to look at it much more, you know, macro instead of micro. I kind of actually loved the deal. Um, and, and I had a chance to watch a couple of other reaction videos. And one thing that um, one person was actually talking about was you don't know what version of Porzingis we're going to get back once he comes back from this um, ACL injury. We don't know if we're going to get the unicorn or we don't know if we're going to get the dream that was the unicorn. And... The fact that we didn't sign up to a max contract last summer, um, when we had the chance, you know, of course he got injured and, you know, going to the offseason he was injured as well too, would have just been a huge gamble. So I can understand it on that point. The, the notion that they, you know, within minutes made the deal, like it still kind of makes my gut clench a little bit, like twist my gut a little bit because there's... There, they, they must have been talking about this for a little bit longer than just that very day. Um, because when the first when the news first broke out, it, w it went from being concerned about the direction of the team to him being irate 
to him being back to concern, to him now suddenly demanding for a trade, to him now, well, to now the story being he gave off the impression that I, you know, that he wanted to be traded off the the Knicks. Now, one thing I do want to say, um, and, and it was something that I had a personal issue with, was a lot of sports analysts or commentators or reporters um, in that New York market. I had a chance to watch one on the Yes Network, uh, where the Yankees uh, mainly play on. They were just giving KP the business, and it made me very confused why, you know, someone who, you know, after people finally stopped bugging and gave the guy a chance, like, he would have been, you know, he was the hope for the Knickerbockers. To now him being called a punk, being called, you know, a, a coward, uh, spoiled, and all this other garbage, like... That and and that's the sh- that's the shady part about sports that I don't like. Um, like I can appreciate you know what someone does for my team, and if they decide to move on, you know I wish them well. I've been on record to say that about Carmelo Anthony, and I still scold my Knickerbockers for you know chanting out "Please trade Melo" during that one game. I know exactly which one I'm talking about, and you know I was very sympathetic towards him for that. Now, I'm happy that he's in Chicago now. Thank you, uh, Doc, for informing me that he was moved to Chicago. But, I mean, with this KP deal, like, let's, you know, let's, let's appreciate for what he did, what, what he did, what he did for the franchise. Instead of just start saying all these, uh, I don't want to use that word, uh, instead of saying all these, you know, just bad phrases about him. Um, all, all these adjectives that is hurtful and, you know, frankly untrue because, you know, a year and a half ago when he was dazzling the New York City lights, you know, people were saying the best things about him. Now, suddenly, after this meeting, now he's, what, the a piece of garbage and all this other jazz? No, that's not right. That that That's not right at all. Um, but, I mean, hey, well, he's coming out to Dallas, so I'll get a chance to see him a lot more now. Um, him and Luca, uh, since I'm out here in the DFW um, area, so uh, it'd be great to see them play together. Hopefully, he'll get a chance to play next year because he's pretty much getting shut down for the rest of the year. I I don't think it makes any sense for him to come back uh, because I feel like the Mavericks are kind of trying to do the same thing as well too. Um, but I mean, I just wanted to talk for a few minutes, give my reaction towards the KP trade. Um, yeah, that's a lot of money that we just took off the books. Um, granted, we still have the Joakim Noah um, contract, I believe, for another year or so. So, I mean, it's a lot of cap space. Hopefully, hopefully they can get someone out there. Uh, I don't know how they're going to try to, you know, negotiate that now because KP was their biggest um, card for them to play. And now he's not there anymore. So I- I'd be intrigued to hear more about the the recruiting process uh, heading into the summer to see if we can actually get any of these high-profile players. Uh, I-, I know the word around is um, on one side, Kyrie Kyrie Irving is happy in Boston. At least that's what you know people have been hearing from their camp. But um, other analysts or insiders uh, uh, such as Stephen A. Smith was saying that uh, it's actually a totally different story. So something might be going on in Boston as well, too. So um, I, I just hope that I just hope that the front office know what they're doing. I, I was ready to, you know, condemn Steve, uh, Steve Mills and uh, Dolan. I mean, I immediately just said, dang it, Donald. <laughs> but I was really bad. Dang it. Uh, Dang it, Dolan. So, I mean, let, let's see what happens. I'm going to give it a chance, just like how what I said after KP got drafted. Just give it a chance. Let's wait and see what's going to happen. But, I mean, I, I feel for my fellow Knickerbockers fans. It is, it, it, it's it's too long that we have yet to start seeing progression for our team. We only have one good season to our names uh, since that fin- last finals trip. Uh, other than that, we have been, you know, basically the laughing stock of the league, um, or the, you know, venue that star players come in there and drop 50 to 60 points on us. 
Um, and, and I really just hope that changes soon. So I'm going to give them just another shot because I really don't want to just say that's it. I'm done with the Knicks like so many people are doing. Like I, I watched a reaction video where someone actually tore off a KP poster and threw it in the trash. Uh, tore down the, uh, their Knicks flag as well too. Like let's not go that far. It, it's not that serious folks. A lot of these franchises want to make gambles. We got to see what's going to happen. But that that's just my take on it. Uh let me know, you know, in the comments uh what you think about the KP trade. Uh do 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 you, do you see any plus sides for it? Uh you know, what was your initial reaction to it? Um you know, what what do you think might be their, you know, 2 to 3 year plan because it's dang sure it's not going to be this year. Um, you know, and next year we gotta wait and see what's gonna happen during the summer. So, I mean, if you if you heard about everything, or if this is just your first time listening about it uh, within the sound of my voice, uh, let us know your thoughts out there in the comments. Um, and also just make sure you uh, follow our social media: Facebook.com/slash/debateamongstfriends, the group page groups/slash/debateamongstfriends, Twitter at debateamongstfr, and our Instagram account at debateamongstfriends. Um, and we'll catch you soon. This is the Professor John Gotti, and I hope you all have a great night. Goodbye. Mwah. And to all.